Do you wanna be able to work from home and have your commute be from your bedroom to your office? Then stick around, this video is for you. In this video, you'll get 10 work from home jobs, what the pay is, what you would be doing, and the education required. So if you're ready to work full-time from home, let's go ahead and get started right now. Okay, the first job is become a medical coder. The average pay is around $22 per hour or $44,000 per year. What you would be doing is reading a patient's medical chart and analyzing it, determining the patient's diagnoses and any procedures that were performed, and then categorize these diagnoses and procedures according to a national classification system. And you would assign a specific numeric or alphanumeric code to each diagnosis or procedure. I know all about this because being a physical therapist, when we do an evaluation, we have to put in ICD-10 codes in order to build Medicare and get paid for our services. As far as the education, you do need a high school education and then you have to get certified, which can take around 18 months or less. You can get certified online and here's some schools ranking number one to number four as far as how good they are, uh, Connecticut, Georgia, Utah, and Alaska. So that's number one. Number two is to become an online bookkeeper. Average pay is anywhere from 18 to $50 per hour, depending on your experience or around $40,000 per year. You would be using computerized bookkeeping software to post financial transactions, review and update statements and reconcile accounts and manage payroll. So essentially just balancing all the money coming into a business and all the money going out of a business. Education, high school education, and also certification. There is a free website that I found to learn bookkeeping. That is accountingcoach.com. If you go here, just click on the left hand side where it says bookkeeping. You can see there's 13 different parts completely free that you can learn about bookkeeping. So that's just a basic overview that can kind of get you started to see if this is something that would be of interest to you. That's number two. Number three is to become a social media manager. I love this job because you can get paid a little over $63 per year. That's the average pay. So that's really good. And if you like social media, this would be the perfect job. I think because you're going to be doing planning, strategizing and goal setting, developing brand awareness and online reputation, content management, generation of inbound traffic, cultivation of leads and sales and reputation management. The education you may require a bachelor's degree, but I wanted to mention to you if you want to teach yourself and become your own boss and be a social media manager, I would recommend Kate Buck. And I'll post this link in the description below the video, kbjonline.com. I'm not an affiliate or anything for it, but I learned about her many years ago and she started teaching herself how to become a social media manager. And then now she teaches courses on it and it's very affordable. It's like $49 per month or you can pay yearly, but she teaches everything about what you would need to do to become a social media manager, how to get your clients. And if we scroll down here, basically you can work from home anywhere. You can run a six figure business without any staff or overhead and just have fun, especially if you do enjoy social media. And there's a lot of testimonials on here of people who have replaced their jobs. And of course it does take work and education, but I would highly recommend Kate Buck if you do want to teach yourself how to become a social media manager. Oh, and by the way, if you want to learn my number one recommendation for making money from home, that'll be the first link in the description below the video. You can go ahead and click on it and check it out if you'd like. Okay, number four is to become a customer service rep. This one pays less. Average is 10 to $14 per hour. And of course, with this one, you're going to help customers with complaints and questions, give customers information about products and services, take orders and process returns. In some of my research, someone said you can get a job at Wayfair. That's a company that you may check out. Um, education, high school education, and on-the-job training, because of course you're gonna to have to learn about that company's products or services and their procedures on how to take orders and process returns. But this is a great job to do from home. And number five is to become a transcriptionist. Average pay is around $14 per hour or 29,000 per year you're going to be able or your duties are to transcribe audio recordings into written documents you do need a high school education 
but if you want to do medical or legal transcription work, you're going to need to take a certified medical transcription training program for the medical, usually anywhere from six months to two years certification, a diploma or associate's degree. And then with legal, you can get on the job training, but it's advisable to get a, an associate's degree. And I did create a video on this. I will post in the description below the video. We can check this out. Uh, in this video, I mentioned several different companies that you can apply to for transcription jobs in order to have that full-time income. But since then, I found in my research another website. It's called allegiustranscription.com. And I do believe that you would get paid more with this company. So if you go here and just click on transcription jobs, they'll walk you through exactly how to apply and tell you about Allegis. So this is a great website to check out if you are interested in transcription jobs. Okay, number six is to become a virtual assistant. Average pay is anywhere from 11 to $20 per hour. What you'll do with that is organize files, answer emails, arrange meetings and travel plans, create presentation materials, things like that. It can either be for a company or it can be for an individual, like somebody who is an influencer in social media and they just need somebody to manage all their social media accounts that takes a lot of time. So you'll be doing everything that just takes time away from them to be able so they can do what they need to do. Education requirements, high school education, and some experience and some employers may require an associate's degree but this one great job to be able to work from home number seven is to be an online english teacher average pay is anywhere from 15 to 22 dollars per hour of course you're going to be preparing the lessons quizzes and delivering the lessons and if you do jobs like VIP kid i had a family member who just started and you have to get up at the crack of dawn because these are kids that are in China, so you may need to get up at three, four o'clock in the morning, but it could be something that if you did this like as a side hustle that you could do before you went to your full-time job to earn some extra money. I know her first, um, first session was just 30 minutes, so she got paid $7.50, but you can pick up more classes as you go along. Some may require previous teaching experience and a bachelor's degree. I do have a friend who works for Wales English and she does make full-time income from home. So these are a couple places that you can check out VIP Kid and Wales English. That's number seven. Number eight is to become an online tutor. If you work for yourself, average pay is $30 per hour. And of course you provide instruction in a variety of subjects. And I think it's super important to motivate the students because I was in the library one time and I saw it was an elementary uh, school child and they had a tutor there and I noticed that she was talking not very nicely to him, you know, and I thought, wow, I think you should like build the child up. But anyway, I think it's important to motivate the students and tell them that they're doing well because a lot of people who have to get tutors feel like they're not very smart. So I think you have to be a really good people person for this job high school education and some employers may require a college education. If you want to work for yourself, you can go to chegg.com and you can see right here, you just click on become a tutor. And it says the top tutors can earn over a thousand dollars per month. Starting pay is $20 per hour. So you just go on and you can sign up for whatever classes that you want to be able to tutor. You get paid each week. So chegg.com, great place to find out about being an online tutor. Number nine is to become a chat support agent. Average pay is anywhere from nine to $12 per hour, so that doesn't pay as much. But you know, when you get on chat with somebody, you want them to know what they're doing. Uh, you're gonna be answering questions and assisting customers via live chat. So you do need a high school education and be able to pass a typing speed test because you will be typing out your answers and if you don't type very well, you're not gonna be very good at this job. And that always reminds me of my friend that I worked with, she's an occupational therapist. She would type with her two index fingers. And in our job, you have to do a lot of typing. So I always kind of laughed at her because somehow she was able to type with her two fingers. But anyway, you have to be very good at typing or pretty good at typing for this job. Number 10 is to become a social media moderator. 
Average pay is anywhere from $14 to $26 per hour. Duties, you're going to moderate comments and feedback on social media followings and moderate forums and groups. So basically go in there and make sure that people are saying the right thing and you know not spamming and um, arguing with each other. So that's, that's going to be your duties. Your education is most jobs require some college education and experience working with social media accounts and moderating a forum. But I think this would be a really great job if you're interested in that kind of work. So definitely check that out. Also, if you want to find out some other jobs, I would say just go to Google. And like I said, I work as a physical therapist, but it's interesting because I was typing in remote physical therapy jobs because I actually had, um, I'm going to be having a job interview. It's a remote position where you use uh, an app and there's some sort of um, program where people exercise and it has to do with osteoarthritis and you moderate through the, through the app. But I searched in here and there are some jobs, telemote, um, telehealth therapist, remote telehealth therapist, PRN. So well, it's not where I live in Las Vegas, but there are more jobs are going to telehealth. So you can, well, with um, health jobs, but you could also just re type in remote and then whatever your profession is. So you could do remote accounting jobs or whatever you do, and you can find all kinds of work that way. So maybe you think, okay, my job, I don't have anything that I could do from home, but you'd be surprised. Once you start searching on Google, you'll find all kinds of information. So these are some jobs that you can take a look at and definitely check them out. So I hope you take this information and go out there and find a really great work from home job. And if you like this video, I think you really like this video coming up, how to make up to $7,500 per month on YouTube without ever showing your face. Go ahead and click here. It's getting started right now.